Taylor Swift 14-time Grammy winner Taylor Swift made a splash in the country music world in 2006 and is now one of the biggest pop music stars. Taylor Swift News, Pop Superstar Releases, The Tortured Poets Department, Double Album As if Taylor Swift fans weren't already excited about her new album's release, the pop star dropped one last shocking surprise early Friday morning, it's actually a double album. Swift revealed she had recorded 15 additional songs, forming a full collection titled The Tortured Poets Department, The Anthology, in a post to social media site X around 2 a.m. Eastern Time. I'd written so much tortured poetry in the past two years and wanted to share it all with you, Swift wrote, and now the story isn't mine anymore, it's all yours. The new songs include The Manuscript, The Bolter, The Albatross, and The Black Dog, which are also featured on different vinyl releases. Swift shared an initial track list for the album in February, a day after she announced the project at the 2024 Grammy Awards. She revealed the first single, Fortnite, a collaboration with Post Malone, on Thursday night. The album release continues an already monumental year for the 34-year-old Swift. She became the first artist to win Album of the Year four times at the Grammys, setting a new record. Swift accomplished the historic feat with her album Midnights, 2022. Who is Taylor Swift? Musician Taylor Swift began earning renown as a country singer by the age of 16. Early hits like Love Story and You Belong With Me appealed to country and pop fans alike and helped fuel the multi-platinum success of her albums, including the award-winning Fearless. Now a pop megastar with 14 Grammys, she is the first artist to win Album of the Year four times. Named Time's 2023 Person of the Year, Swift is currently performing on her record-breaking Eras tour and is dating professional football player Travis Kelsey. The Shake It Off and Antihero singer released her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19, 2024. Full name, Taylor Allison Swift. Born, December 13, 1989. Birthplace, Reading, Pennsylvania. Astrological, Sign, Sagittarius. Where is Taylor Swift from? Taylor Allison Swift was born in Reading, Pennsylvania, on December 13, 1989. Swift spent her early years with her parents, Scott and Andrea, and brother, Austin, on the family's Christmas tree farm in nearby Wyoming. I had the most magical childhood, running free and going anywhere I wanted to in my head, she told Rolling Stone. She learned to ride horses and competed, but a greater passion soon took root. Swift followed in the musical footsteps of her grandmother, Marjorie Finley, a professional opera singer. By age 10, Swift sang at various local events, including fairs and contests. She sang The Star-Spangled Banner at a Philadelphia 76ers basketball game at age 11 and began writing her own songs and learning guitar at 12. Her early music idols included Shania Twain and The Chicks. To pursue her music career, Swift often visited Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital. There, she co-wrote songs and tried to land a recording contract. Noting her dedication, her family moved to nearby Hendersonville when she was 13 in an attempt to further young Swift's career. She attended. Oh, pursue her music career, Swift often visited Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital. There, she co-wrote songs and tried to land a recording contract. Noting her dedication, her family moved to nearby Hendersonville when she was 13 in an attempt to further Young Swift's career. She attended Hendersonville High School before finishing her education through the homeschooling program of Erin Academy, a private Christian school, once her musical career took off. Music Career one of today's biggest pop stars, Swift has worked her way from performing at local venues in Tennessee to commanding stadiums full of Swifties, her adoring fans, on international tours. A stellar performance at the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville helped her get a contract with Scott Borchetta's Big Machine Records at age 14. She spent her early career as a country musician, and her first single, Tim McGraw, was named after one of the genre's biggest stars. The 2006 song, which she wrote in her first-year math class, became a top-ten hit on Billboard's country chart, 
quickly launching Swift into the spotlight. McGraw and fellow country music singer Faith Hill even brought Swift on their Soul to Soul tour the next year as an opening act. Reminiscing on the tour years later, McGraw told ET Canada, Faith and I both knew that there was no stopping her. She's a special talent. It wasn't long before Swift began receiving critical praise for her work. The teenager won the Horizon Award from the Country Music Association, CMA, and the Academy of Country Music, ACM, Award for Top New Female Vocalist in 2007. The following year, she was nominated for Best New Artist at the Grammys. She became the youngest artist to win the Grammy for Album of the Year for Fearless in 2010. The country music darling eventually began experimenting with genre. With her fifth album, 1989, she decisively reintroduced herself as a pop musician. Her new sound excited fans, and the 2014 release is one of her most successful to date, spending 11 weeks atop the Billboard 200 and selling more than 1.2 million copies in its first week. Not everything about her music changed, though. Personal experiences, including her romantic relationships, continue to fuel Swift's songwriting. I'm enthralled by relationships, and I love the drama in them, but that's usually where it lives, Swift told Rolling Stone in 2009, maintaining I'm not a dramatic person. Hardly the first musician to utilize this practice, the pop star usually doesn't reveal who her song's subjects are unless they are family or friends. Instead, her loyal fans obsess over Easter eggs in her lyrics and music videos to pinpoint a likely person. Since March 2023, Swift has been performing on her headline-grabbing Eras tour. It marks her sixth international tour, having first headlined her own concert series after releasing her award-winning sophomore album, Fearless. When pre-sale tickets for the Eras tour went live in November 2022, so many fans attempted to snag their seats that Ticketmaster cancelled the general sale, leading to a congressional hearing about the debacle. Already one of the highest-grossing touring musicians as of July 2022, Swift has earned more than $1 billion on the Eras tour, surpassing Elton John's record-setting farewell tour that spanned five years. The Eras tour wraps in December 2024 after dozens more concerts, mostly abroad. Swift's successes in 2023 also include the release of the 1989, Taylor's Version, album. And the record-setting concert film Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour, two more number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100, tying with Drake as the artist with the most Billboard Music Awards in history, dethroning Bad Bunny as Spotify's most streamed artist of the year, and achieving billionaire status. All that culminated in time naming her its 2023 Person of the Year. Swift is the fifth woman to receive the honor. Early in 2024, Swift became the first artist to win the Grammy for Album of the Year four times, further cementing her place in the history books. How many Grammys does Taylor Swift have? Swift has won 14 Grammy Awards out of 52 nominations. She was first nominated in 2008 for Best New Artist. Although Amy Winehouse claimed the honor, 20-year-old Swift lived up to her promising career start by collecting four Grammys the following year. Fearless won Album of the Year and Best Country Album, and White Horse was named Best Country Song and Best Female Country Vocal Performance in 2009. Swift has now won Album of the Year four times, for Fearless, 1989, Folklore, and Midnights. She is the only artist to have accomplished this feat, setting the record in 2024. Midnight's also won the award for Best Pop Vocal Album this year. Even so, Swift has never won the top song honor of Song of the Year, though she has received a record seven nominations in the category. As for Best Country Song, the artist has won twice in five nominations, Mean earned the trophy the year after White Horse did. The singer-songwriter has won many other accolades, including nine CMA awards and eight ACM awards. Both country music organizations have twice named her Entertainer of the Year. Since her first in 2009, Swift has taken home 23 Video Music Awards, second only to Beyoncé. Billboard called her Woman of the Year in 2012, one of Swift's 29 awards from the publication. In December 2023, Swift notched another first when she received her first Golden Globe Award nomination for Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour.
Her concert film competed in but didn't win cinematic and box office achievement at the January 2024 ceremony. Hit songs Since her first single, Tim McGraw, in 2006, Swift's music has found a home on the Billboard charts. As of February 5, 2024, she has had 232 songs grace the mainstream Hot 100. That includes 11 number one hits and a record setting 49 songs in the top 10. No woman has had more top 10 hits, and Swift only trails Drake among all artists. She also holds nine number one hot country songs, including Our Song and Should Have Said No. Fearless debuted at number nine on the mainstream chart in November 2008, marking Swift's first top 10 song. Her first chart topper was roughly four years away. That came in September 2012 with Grammy-nominated We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Her other number one. Songs include Shake It Off Blank Space Bad Blood Look What You Made Me Do Cardigan Willow All Too Well, Taylor's Version Antihero Cruel Summer Is It Over Now? Taylor's version, from the vault. T 10 minutes and 13 seconds, all too well, Taylor's version, is the longest number one hit in history. Shake It Off is Swift's only diamond certified song, having sold the equivalent of 10 million copies. Albums To date, Swift has released 18 albums, including 10 original studio albums, for re releases, and 4 live albums. Excluding those live recordings, every album since her sophomore effort, Fearless, has nabbed the number one spot on the Billboard 200 for at least one week. In December 2023, she became the first living artist to have five albums simultaneously rank among the chart's top ten. Her first album came in 2006 with Taylor Swift, and her most recent all-new music is on 2022's Midnight's. Her latest re-recorded album, 1989, Taylor's Version, debuted in October 2023, Swift released a new album, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19, 2024. On the morning of the release, she surprised fans by revealing 15 additional songs included in the full collection, titled The Anthology. Her albums, in order, are Taylor Swift Fearless Speak Now Red 1989, Reputation Lover. Folklore. Evermore. Midnights. Taylor's version albums. What is Taylor Swift's net worth? When she was 26, Swift was the highest paid musician and celebrity of any industry of 2016 per Forbes, earning $170 million. It was one successful year among many, allowing the pop star to amass a substantial net worth. As of February 5, 2024, Swift has a net worth of $1.1 billion, according to Forbes. Bloomberg first reported that Swift had become a billionaire in late October 2023. Her wealth has skyrocketed in the past year, fueled by the pop star's highly successful era's tour. Polestar reported in December 2023 that the ongoing tour has earned $1,039,263,762. Making Swift the first musician to gross over $1 billion on a single tour. The trade publication previously estimated the tour brings in $14 million in ticket sales each night. Swift ranks number 17 on Polestar's list of highest grossing touring artists since 1980, selling nearly $925 million in tickets from her first five tours and other appearances as of July 2022. The only women higher on the list are Madonna, Celine Dion, and Beyoncé. Contributing to her overall net worth are her real estate holdings. According to Business Insider, her properties total $84 million. She also has lucrative endorsement deals with Capital One, Stella McCartney, Diet Coke, Apple, and more. Over the years, the musician has shared some of her fortune to help others. For example, in 2013, she funded the $4 million Taylor Swift Education Center at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville. The facility opened with three classrooms, a learning lab, and a space dedicated to exhibits for children. In an interview with CMT Hot 20 Countdown, 
she explained that music education is really such an important part of my life. My life changed so completely when I discovered writing my own songs and playing guitar, and that can't necessarily all be taught to you in school, because there aren't enough hours in the day. Sexual Assault Trial and Copyright Lawsuits The megastar has been involved in a few legal disputes, which all have gone in her favor. In August 2017, she testified in a trial against David Mueller, a former radio DJ she accused of groping her four years earlier. Mueller denied Swift's allegations and said the incident cost him his job, which led him to sue Swift, her mother, and a radio station employee in 2015. Swift countersued him for alleged assault and battery, and a jury ruled in her favor in 2017, awarding her $1 in damages as a symbolic gesture. Swift responded to the verdict, I acknowledge the privilege that I benefit from in life, in society, and in my ability to shoulder the enormous cost of defending myself in a trial like this. My hope is to help those whose voices should also be heard. Therefore, I will be making donations in the near future to multiple organizations that help sexual assault victims defend themselves. Also in 2017, Swift was on the receiving end of a lawsuit when two songwriters claimed that she stole the chorus of their song, Playa's Gone Play, for her hit Shake It Off. Although a judge dismissed the case in early 2018 on the grounds that the allegedly infringed lyrics are short phrases that lack the modicum of originality and creativity required for copyright protection, an appeals court revived the suit in October 2019. Shortly before the trial was scheduled to begin, a judge dismissed the case in December 2022 at the request of both parties. A few media outlets reported a settlement, but if so, the terms weren't publicly released. The musician was trapped in another copyright lawsuit when a Mississippi woman claimed a number of creative elements from her self-published poetry book appeared in Swift's companion book for her lover, 2019, album. The author sued in August 2022 but voluntarily dropped her case the next July.